The ECSU Wickler Planetarium is an unconventional classroom for many students here at Eastern, but the planetarium is also available for anyone to enjoy a meteor shower. The Wickler allows tours and private bookings of the planetarium, which holds a maximum of 50 people. School trips, scout troops, or office groups can rent the Wickler for a unique experience. The Wickler Planetarium also puts on a free show four times a semester. The shows are open to the ECSU students and anyone in the public. The next free star show is April 18th at 2 p.m. The audience will be viewing a thrilling solar science Earth Day star show. Dr. Russell Sampson, an astronomy professor, sat down with News 22 to tell us what makes the Wickler Planetarium the shining star on Eastern's campus. Robert K. Wickler Planetarium is Eastern's planetarium. It's the classroom and the theater uh, that shows off the stars and the planets and the sun and the moon. And we essentially have three programs here, or do three uh, things in the planetarium. First of all, we teach classes. Uh, the astronomy classes and the meteorology classes. The meteorology is the weather and astronomy, of course, is the stars and the planets. And we also have private bookings. So if your school or your uh, community group would like to have a planetarium show where you get to see the latest happenings in astronomy, uh, you can book this uh, through either myself or Dr. Pazimeter, who is the director of the planetarium, and you can have your own private show. And we also have uh, about three or four times a semester, we have public uh, astronomy uh, shows where we'll bring you up to date on the latest things happening in the universe and uh, also show you uh, on the dome, uh, on the Star Theater dome, uh, where the stars and the planets are that night. And so you can go outside and take a look and see for yourself uh, where the objects are in the nighttime sky. To reserve seats for the April 18th Star Show, stargazers should email Dr. Russell Sampson for their free tickets. I'm Megan Fox reporting for News 22.